In our top story, yesterday's raid on a Vicksburg home resulted in the recovery of $65,000 in contraband. Stay tuned for the details. Vicksburg resident Dolores Thomas has been charged with aggravated assault domestic violence after a shooting incident in the King's community on Thursday. The incident happened at around 8 a.m. Vicksburg police took Thomas into custody. Today, she was seen before Judge Angela Carpenter and given a $15,000 bond. Just before 8 p.m. on Thursday, Vicksburg resident Herman Tyler Jr. was shot on Field Street. He was struck in the shoulder and the hip, but managed to run down to MLK to the basketball courts located at Mission 66, where neighbors called 911. When police and paramedics arrived, Tyler was on the ground being attended to by locals who were applying pressure to his wounds. A crowd of concerned onlookers were there and said the shots came from up the hill, pointing to the intersection with MLK. Police stated the shooter is a juvenile and they will release more information as the law allows. And in our top story, the home on Victory Avenue raided on Thursday was a result of months of investigation by the Vicksburg Police Department. A warrant was issued and the home was raided to uncover numerous drugs, weapons, and cash valued at around $65,000. This is uh, the result of a search warrant that we did over on Victory Avenue. Um, the address is 3222 Victory Avenue. Uh, this was months of investigation due to complaints that was coming to the chief's office. At around 12.50 p.m. on Thursday, numerous officers with the Vicksburg Police Department arrived to a home in the 3200 block of Victory Avenue. Officers were equipped with shields, protective gear, and used a battering ram to enter the house. Police arrested four individuals in total. One managed to escape but has been identified, according to investigator Mario Grady. Police recovered over 11 pounds of marijuana valued at $55,000, ecstasy with a street value of about $7,000, and cocaine worth about $3,500, codeine along with weapons and around $9,000 in cash. A vehicle was also seized. It is believed the narcotics came from California. Chief Jones stated the police are aware of what is going on and issued a warning. This is just one of our many operations that we'll be conducting uh, here for the city of Vicksburg's police department. Uh, we certainly want the citizens to know that drug activity in Vicksburg is not unknown. Uh, we know what's going on. Eventually, you're going to get caught. So this is just a product, just a small product of, of what we're going to get. So just know that there's more to come from the Vicksburg Police Department where drug seizures are concerned. Alexander Lindsay was charged with possession of cocaine and received a $40,000 bond. Ambus Wallace was charged with felony possession of marijuana and was given a $65,000 bond. Brandon Wilson was charged with possession of cocaine and felony possession of marijuana and given a $110,000 bond. And Kawan Jones was charged with possession of cocaine and given a $45,000 bond. For more information on these stories as well as other breaking news for your community, visit our website at vicksburgnews.com. Vicksburg High School baseball and softball team got wins last night. The baseball team got a 14 to nothing win over Provine, and the softball team got a 10 to eight win over Cleveland Central. Warren Central High School baseball and softball team also got wins last night, as the baseball team got a 12 to three win over Terry High School, and the softball team got a 10 to six win over Cleveland High School. Vicksburg. Tomorrow will be partly sunny with a high near 77 and the low near 49. Sunday will be sunny with a high near 77 and the low near 52. And Monday will be partly sunny with a 20% chance of showers in the afternoon with a high near 81 and the low near 63 degrees.
There were no birthdays reported today, but we know you're having them. Happy birthday to you if you're having a birthday. And don't forget to email them to us at birthdaysatvicksburgnews.com. This has been your Vicksburg Daily News Briefing, and thank you for listening.